Sup guys, so I'll go 23451 and today I'm going to show you how to use compression fittings and uh, basically there's two parts to it and I actually got stuck in the tubing, here we go here's the two parts, you have the collar right here and you have the actual barb, you look around the barb, it's basically a bubble and what this is for is when the collar starts to screw down it uh, basically pushes the tubing along the collar and it secures the tubing against that and prevents leaks so that's how it works now how do you put it on okay you're basically going to take your collar put it on like so you're going to take your uh, barb so as I said before bust out some spit and then when you're putting on your tubing same deal with uh, the other barbs just regular barbs you're going to rock it back and forth and you're going to push forward at the exact same time so it's like like that okay you're going to put that in once you have that in you go ahead and slide up the collar do it in reverse so the threads line up then after that just screw it in like so now as you uh, more or less figure it out it's going to get a lot harder as you're going uh, down towards the center of the uh, I guess you want to call it the nipple of it because that's where the uh, ring is where the tube essentially gets pinched like so and then it secures it so you don't have any leaks so it can be a pain um, I've known to get uh, blisters on my uh, thumbs and later on the skin falls off example when I uploaded that video of my buddy with the GTX 580s um, basically he had compression fittings I tightened them down and uh, noticed that my whole skin was basically calloused up and then fell off so it can get hard and it can rough up your hands pretty quick um, basically if it comes too hard I would recommend in getting like a wrench or something like uh, I don't know what you want to call it like those uh, wrench tools that are made out of rubber that are, makes it easier to grip something like that to tighten these down but if you use a wrench uh, make sure that you minimize the amount of times that you're actually like letting uh, go the wrench and then tighten it because you will damage these little guys around here and you might have to paint uh, paint the damaged ones you know don't want to put more work on you than you already are putting these on um, basically these are great for making your loops uh, look really clean they are expensive um, bits power fittings are going roughly eight bucks a pop or more I know that for sure and then if you go to I'm trying to think like coolertech.com you can get the Enzo Tech uh, fittings and they go for I think six bucks. I'm trying to remember. It's six something in the morning right now. It's going on six seventeen. So yeah, fun stuff. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's how you do it. Um, hope this video helps you guys out on uh, compression fittings. And also keep in mind when you get compression fittings, it has to be the exact same OD and ID as the tubing. Okay. OD outer diameter, ID inner diameter. Alright? Thanks, guys. Comment, subscribe, rate this video, and you have a great day.